I want to get out of the way now and share, uh, you know, a minute with, with my brother, Abel Melendez. Now, I want you guys to understand. I remember when Abel started and, um, and he came in. I, I didn't really know much about him, but I knew that I love that he taught market structure and, uh, and, and, and you know, he, he teaches basics, but it's not even basics. It's fundamentals that you need to understand so that you can learn to read the markets. Guys, I want you guys to follow him on Go Live, get his pip talk. And from the last time that he was here, a lot of you guys have been following his sessions and I'm super excited about that, Abel. You've got fans on this team. And, uh, and guys, I told him, look, Abel, I need you to come back because I want to hear about this scanner that you guys are using and this scanner that, that is making people money. And guys, you know that on our platform, we have over a dozen scanners that you can use that give you potential trade setups. And the DeLorean is one of the newest ones. And he's partnered with the creators of the DeLorean and, uh, and, and one of them being Tyrone Foster. And, and Tyrone actually is on Go Live right now. So we didn't realize that, but guess what? Abel's going to do something tonight with Go Live and connect us onto the Go Live platform uh, where Tyrone is at. So, guys, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to drop a 999 for my brother, your Go Live educator, DeLorean master, Mr. Abel Melendez. Yes, 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 yes. What's going on, you guys? What is up? What is up, Steve? My brother, I appreciate you so much, bro. Um, I definitely love the relationship we've been able to build, bro. Um, I definitely love it. And I, I look forward to really building the relationship even stronger, guys. And that goes for every single one of you guys on this call. You know, if you guys are a part of Steve's team, if you guys are a part of his family, then guess what? You guys are a part of my family. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do whatever I possibly can um, to get you guys really understanding this skill set guy to the best of my abilities, right? So I want to say thank you guys for getting on the call. I appreciate you guys' time. Um, obviously, time is extremely valuable, guys. You know, so I don't want to waste any time at all. And I want to just go over and just really break down exactly what this product is, guys, what this software is. And then again, just like Steve mentioned, you know, we actually have, you know, the creator himself, guys, the guy that actually brought the platform or the product to the platform, guys, you know, Tyrone Foster on go live right now, literally teaching, you know, exactly what it is, um, what it takes to actually master this, right? So we're actually going to watch him live, you know, during the process, you know, he's also going to understand that you guys are on the call as well. You know, so he's going to show you guys a little love, guys. He's going to really provide you guys with a lot of value, you know, um, which is what he provides every single day, right? So before we actually go ahead and get into that, guys, I want to say again, uh, my journey trading has definitely been a fun one. I've been an interesting one, guys. I've been trading now for a little bit over four years. And over the past four years, guys, the thing that I realized is that in order to really become successful trading, it's not about having the most advanced strategy, right? It's not about having the most fanciest name strategy, right? It's not about having the most complex run, right? It's all about having something, something that's very simple for you guys to understand, right? Simple that's, the, that's not going to really cloud your guys' judgment. And something as simple as, 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 as something like DeLorean, right? Because simplicity, guys, is the key when it comes to Forex, right? Simplicity, right? Because we deal enough with the mindset aspect of it, right? With the ups and downs that come from this. So if we were able to have a scanner, right, that made it simple for you guys to really understand exactly why those signals are being called, and I feel like that that will play out tremendously for a lot of us, right? I feel like a lot of us will have a ton of success with that route because, again, it's all about simplicity, right? This is why I wanted to actually partner myself, you know, with Patrick and Tyrone, right? This is why, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, if I did join on a product, it was something that was simple. It was something that was duplicatable, right? Easy to understand. You know, and something that I knew for a fact a lot of people were going to be able to actually benefit from. Now, the beautiful thing about this, guys, is that this algorithm, like I said, is something that you guys can learn right away, right? But this algorithm in itself, you know, it's all about uh, following four simple steps, right, in order for you to understand if the trade is valid or not. But remember this, guys. Yes, this is here calling out trade ideas, right? But this is also here teaching you guys what to look for. All right, we're not just trying to handicap you guys by feeding you guys. We're also trying to teach you guys exactly what to look for, which is why we added this four steps, right? Because if you guys get comfortable, you know, checking the four steps, then guess what? You're not even going to need the software no more if you don't want to, right? You'll become the software because now you'll be able to see, right, everything that you normally look for when it comes to this actual software, guys, right? So for me, when I started learning this, um, it was definitely interesting at first. Right, because I'm very, 
um, how do I put this right? I'm very, very strategic with market structure, right? And price action, right? And not using too many indicators, right? I was, I was always one of those naked chart type of traders, right? But one thing that I realized, guys, that when you start learning how to trade, right? And you're learning how to read structure, it's very difficult to do. You know, if I were to, if I were to say, take away this, you know, these indicators right here, right? All these moving averages, you know, it will be very hard for people to understand exactly how to read this thing because of all the waves. But what these moving averages do and what the DeLorean does, it adds these lines, right? That makes it very simple to understand exactly how to trade this, right? Guys, we have cheat sheets right here that you guys can literally download or take a picture of, right? That are going to give you guys the four steps that you need to follow. Right now, step number one in a buy situation, guys, right? Is we're looking at the two candles to the left, right? So when we get a DeLorean call, right? When there is a DeLorean being called, right? And let's say we're looking at this GBPNZD, right? We're looking at the two candlesticks to the left of the arrow, guys. Remember, what we're doing here is we're teaching you guys how to find your own entry points, okay? Utilizing these moving averages, right? So we're moving off of the two candles to the left of the arrow, right? The arrow's right here. So we ask ourselves, okay, is the blue candle bigger than the red because this is a buy setup, right? The answer is yes, the blue is bigger than the red, okay? That's step number one, guys, right? Once you get step number one and you get a yes for that in a buy situation, right, where there's pretty much an engulfing, right, then you can go ahead and go to step number two. If you don't get a yes to step number one, then that's not a good setup to look for, right? You want to go ahead and find the next setup, okay? But if that's yes, then go to step number two, right? Step number two, guys, very simple, is does the red line, cut through both candle bodies, right? The red line, right? What is the red line? Well, the red line is this one right here, right? It's also called the 13 period moving average, right? And we, what we want to see, guys, is we want to see this red line cutting directly through those two candlesticks, right? The same two candlesticks we just looked at, right? The two to the left of the arrow, right? So this one right here, it doesn't cut through it, right? It cuts below it, right? There's a specific reason why you know, they want to see it actually cut through it, right? It, it just makes the accuracy of these trade ideas far higher than normal, okay? So for this one, guys, the answer is no, right? So for this example, no, right? Not a good trade idea to take, right? And, and this software right here, I mean, this thing is spitting out trade ideas left and right, right? Left and right, guys. So trust me, you're going to have a ton of ties, right? A ton of, a ton of setups, that you guys can really learn off of. Remember, our job here is to create self-sufficient traders more than it is really just worried about feeding you guys, right? Because I want to create six and seven figure traders, right? That they are taking trades from their own analysis. That's what this is about here, right? This is all about that, guys, really learning how to trade in yourself by utilizing the software, right, to find uh, potential trades for you. Okay, so very simple. Let's go ahead and look at another one, right? So USD CAD, guys, very simple. What is this, a 30-minute time frame, right? This was called out an hour ago, right? So for this one right here, right, this actually called out a buy, right, up here. But look at where it called out the buy, right? It called out the buy after it already broke above all of these moving averages, right? So a buy, yes, in my opinion, is a, is a correct analysis for the most part. Right, but the area of entry where we want to look for now is where we want to focus on. Right, so there's entry techniques that we have for this, guys. Right, we want to look for entries that are again near the red line. Right, that red line plays a huge, huge importance in this strategy. Right, and so does also you know this this aqua line. Right, the closer we are to the aqua line, right, the higher the probability of that trade setup. Okay, the closer we are, the higher probability. So for this one right here, I mean, let's just go through our steps real quick. Step number one, right, is the blue bigger than the red? Yes, it is. Step number two, does the red line cut through both of them? Well, again, no, it does not, guys. So again, not a bad, this is a bad setup, right? It's not following the rules. I hope you guys are seeing that, guys. So now when you guys see this occur on live charts, you guys can be like, oh, man, it doesn't do this. All right, that's not a good setup that we want to take. Again, it's showing you guys discipline, right? It's showing you guys discipline. Okay? So, very simple. Let's go to one more, right? Again, if, if there's just no good setups that were called out with those batches of trades that were identified, then it is what it is. It's no big deal, right? But now look at this one right here, right? USDJPY, okay? 
This thing is calling for a sell signal, right? You see the sell? Very simple. Let's go through this, through the steps now, right? Is the red candle bigger than the blue? Yes, it is. Step number one, check, right? Does the red line cut through both of those candlestick bodies? Well, what do you know? Yes, it does, right? It cuts through both of those, okay? So now we have step one checked off and step two checked off. Now, step number three, right, is, is the aqua, let me bring it up for you guys so you guys can read it as well, right? Is the gray aqua or blue line uh, closely above the two candles, right? We're looking at the cell signals, right? Cell signals. So is the gray aqua or blue line closely above the two candles, right? Now, looking at it right here, we can see that we have the aqua. Remember that aqua, the closer we are to the aqua, the better it is, right? Above it, but the other two are below it, right? The other two moving averages are, are, are definitely much further below it, right? Now that goes into step number four, right? Because step number four is asking just that, right? Make sure the gray aqua or blue lines are not closely below price, right? Keyword closely, right? These are not close to price, guys. So now this gives us Right, if we were to look for a sell setup, right, because all the other things checked off, then this is telling us that we have this much potential profit. Right, so we're talking about if we were to take the sell, we can ride it down to here for around 45 pips, you know, for more of like a TP1 type of trade idea. Right, this is actually not a bad looking setup at, at all, guys, when it comes to this USD JPY. You know, if you would have taken the sell, you know, right on either the close of this candlestick right here. I mean, you'll be right at break even right now, you know, but this is the thing. Like I said, the entry techniques, when we're close to these moving averages is when these entries are going to be the most precise. I mean, we're right here near these moving averages right now, right? So I will have a setup something like this normally if I, was, if I were to trade this, right? We're talking about a 15 pip stop loss, right, for a almost 50 pip target. And now look at the risk reward, right? So three, three, three to three and a half, three and a half to one risk reward, guys, right? This is a phenomenal looking setup right here with very minimal risk, right? But the reward is, you know, a good risk reward with it. So again, very good looking setup, you know, something that again, you guys can really keep your eyes on even going into tonight, right? It's calling it. So I wouldn't be surprised if this thing did start rolling over very soon, guys. But, you know, what I want to do now is, you know, again, I want to really go ahead and, and to show Tyrone, right, again, guys, he's the one that created this, right? He's the one that really figured out how all of these things work, you know? So if anybody's going to really be able to provide value, right, it's going to be this man right here. So let's just go ahead and, 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 and write a message in here, right, just so he can see that we're in the call. So he can really start breaking down some sauce for you guys um, on top of what he's already providing, right? So let's say, um, <clears throat> what should we write for here? Let's see. Um, Let's just write power hour, right? Let's go, right? Now, let's see what he says, guys. Again, he goes live Monday through Friday at this time as well, guys. Really, hey, just, Dom, how, how that Mexican peso really just teaching people exactly what it is that it takes to get to the next level, guys. Now, just listen to his energy, right? That's what I want you guys to see, his energy, guys, and his passion. What's in, up, guys? I'd like to give a shout-out to. We got Abel Melendez here. I know y'all see him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, give a shout out right now to Chess. I need you guys to blow up the chest with Steve Max. What's up, bro? <laughs> Get ready, because this is nothing you've ever seen before. Uh -huh. This is DeLorean Nation. We do this for real, not for play play. It's all about <laughs> profiting, guys, and consistently profiting. Not sometimes. You know, sometimes you're like, okay, I'm profitable this week, maybe next week. No, 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 guys. We've been profitable for the last pretty much since I've been doing this. Every week. Uh -huh. And it's not me. We've been following the rules. Follow, everybody in the chat say, follow the rules. Because have you guys noticed? A lot of you guys have been trading with me already. Have you noticed when you follow the rules, what happens? Come on, guys. Out of 10 times, what happens? Be honest. Tell, tell the newbies right now. If you follow the rules, what happens, guys? Be honest. And when you don't follow the rules, what happens, guys? Exactly. You know immediately. Yo, I got in too early, coach. Yeah, I got out too late, coach. I didn't follow my exes. I didn't even do the four steps for my DeLorean. I had somebody hit me up and was like, yo, I don't understand why I lost this trade. I'm like, okay, well, is it a DeLorean? They're like, yeah, I thought it was. How do you think it was a DeLorean? Did you follow your four steps? Well, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Kind like, 
Yeah, I mean, like, if you got the I mean, kind of, uh, you don't take the trade. If you're second guessing the trade, you don't take the trade. If you don't even like to trade, you don't take the trade. <laughs> uh, I just had to add something extra in there. You must be certain about each position because you are a sniper in the market. You are a precision shooter. And to be a precision shooter, you must know the direction. What is the overall direction, guys? If the overall trend on the higher time frame is up, we're taking nothing but buys. If the overall trend on the higher time frame is down, we're taking nothing but sells. So that means we're only playing DeLoreans up or DeLoreans down. Not DeLoreans left or DeLoreans right. There's only two positions. So stop making it so difficult. Don't overcomplicate this, guys. So guys, when the EMAs, that aqua color, the white line and the, the dark blue, this is to enhance your DeLorean play, guys. When these three beautiful color lines are below the candles, majority, it is an uptrend. No, uh, kind of an uptrend. It's an uptrend. That's it, period. With a T at the end. Maybe a DZ, R, Q, elemental P, whatever. Uptrend, which means, Tia, what DeLoreans are we taking? Buys, coach. Oh, wow, look, look, look at this. DeLorean, DeLorean. This is what the app calls, guys. When the EMAs, the aqua, the white, the blue are on top. What is that, guys? Hey, yo, coach, the, I think it's a doubt. Do you think or do you know? Do you think or do you know? If the EMAs are on the top, it is a downtrend. If the EMAs are on the bottom, it's an uptrend. If, say this with me, if the EMAs are on the top, it's a downtrend. You know what, Freddie? I'm not doing this right. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. close to it and you can't see any trend so therefore you're like oh my god i don't know what directions is i'm just kidding i don't know and then you zoom out you're like oh my god it's it's this is oh wow i can actually see where it's going you know what because i know that oh emas are up it's a down trend y'all emas are up it's an up trend y'all emas on top the, the down trend Guys, stop making it so hard, guys. It's not that hard. I'm looking for nothing but DeLoreans for a sell, which means I'm paid to wait. So therefore, if they've already shifted, all I'm looking for, say this with me in the chat, when it pulls back. Because when they pull back to the EMAs, message. We know this is counter because this is a downtrend. When they pull back and say, hey, what's up, Aqua? I'm just here for a little bit. I'm just here for a little bit. All right, see you later, Aqua. All right, I'm coming back, Aqua. What's up? I'm coming back for some gas. I got to go drive a couple miles real quick. I'm coming back for some gas. I'm going to go see my, my friend, the 200, real quick. I'm going to go see the 200 real quick. Oh, I'm about to go drive away from it. I'm going to go see. Guys, this, oh my God, it's just direction. I don't think you guys are really, like, can y'all guys come closer real quick? Because how many of you guys missed it? Like, my newbies, let me know if you missed it. Say, like, if you missed it, like, you know, no, let me go. Yeah, I got it. EMA's on the top, it's a down trend, y'all. EMA's on the bottom, it's an up trend, y'all. EMA's on the top, the down trend, ah. I'm only playing the Warriors down, hey. Guys, 
that's literally probably half of the game right there. If you know direction, guys, I just want to say congratulations. You became a, a successful trader. <laughs> and you mean we have an app that literally calls one of the best positions where if you're not in profit at three candles, you pull out. Are you freaking kidding me? And all I need to know is the overall direction. I know exactly what to play and how far to play it. Oh, my God. <laughs> guys, which one is this, guys? EMAs on bottom or down? Downtrend. Let me know, guys. Is the EMAs on the bottom or up? Maybe I might need it. Like, I don't know. Patsy, like, let me know, Kaylin. If, if, if I'm not, if this is not get, you know what? Sometimes I just got to bring it back. EMAs on the bottom. This is an up trend. EMAs on the is a down trend. Yeah. 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 Up trend. Yeah. Sometimes the song just does better for everybody else. Like, because. I've taught this before and some people still are confused. This helps me figure out what trades I take for the week. If you can see the overall trend, guess what? Come closer, Patsy. If you see the overall trend, it makes your life so much easier on what plays to play. Because have you guys noticed on the live tra trade sessions, when a newbies call out plays, what plays do they call? They, they call the hardest trades ever. They call the ones in consolidation. The ones that are all jumbled up, which we're gonna talk about right now. So guys, is this a downtrend or uptrend? Is the EMAs on the top? It's a downtrend, yeah. Or the EMAs on the bottom? It's an uptrend, yeah. I'm gonna have you guys saying. I'm telling you. I'm gonna have y'all guys saying. Somebody gonna make a video and start hitting the low. Uh, whoa, hey, EMAs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all thought y'all was about to learn today. I'm over here sweating like I done ran a marathon. Hey, this counts as a workout, right? I don't know. All right, so guys, I want to introduce you guys to consolidation when the emas are not either on the majority on the top or the bottom and the blue is cutting through when all the emas are combined together this is called reset or consolidation now it's not it's not so much an or because if the blue is in the middle write this in your your notes if the blue is in the middle this is called reset but they can consolidate without the blue because then that will be a level consolidation when the EMAs are bunched up like this, this is called consolidation, which means you can play DeLoreans both ways, but you must be cautious because they're not going to give you full ADR pushes, which means they're not going to give you as much pips in money as the trend moves. So guys, what is this called, guys? When the EMAs are bunched together, <laughs> I love it. Somebody said trash. <laughs> this is where we fringe trade. For my new guys, you don't know what fringe trading is, make sure you head over to the favorite sessions and study up. Hey, coach, what, how do I get better? Head over to the favorite session and study up. Hey, yo, coach, I want to know what a BTS is. Can you teach me what BTS is? Yeah, sure. Head over to the favorite sessions and study up. Hey, yo, coach, I want to, I want to have pips like you, coach. All right, head over to the favorite session. And study up. Everybody in chat say this with me. All right, hey, yo, coach, so how would you trade this? Oh, head over to the favorite session and study up. Hey, yo, coach, yo, um, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to be a millionaire. Head over to the favorite session and study up. Hey, yo, coach, can I get an autograph? Head over to the – wait, what? <laughs> I love you guys. So, guys, when you guys are looking at this, you're going to be looking at all higher time frames. You're not going to really so much look at – the lower time frame, 15 minutes, 30 minutes type of stuff, because that's going to be quicker moves. You want to see the overall, I need everybody to say overall trend. If you know the overall trend, you know what's happening on the lower time frames. All right? So let's talk about this real quick. All right? Let's check this out. Here we have the four hour. All right? So this means, this is weeks. This is like a couple weeks right here. Is this EMAs on the bottom or top? Remember, it goes left to right, not right to left. I'm about to help you guys on your DeLoreans, guys. Y'all DeLoreans are about to be on flicky, saucy, sauce of fleekness, all right? <laughs> you just Marshawn Lynch. I'm done. <laughs> so, guys, is the trend up or down here? Remember, we're starting from the left. You're not starting to the right. And the overall is what? Remember, it paints from here. So we're in a downtrend. So that means you're taking nothing but shifts down and DeLorean's down. My newbies that don't understand shifts, it's okay. 
just watch your previous couple videos, actually starting in, what's it called? You're still learning your first signature trade, which is the shift, all right? Today, we're just gonna be going over straight direction to make sure that you guys understand what we are doing when we are looking at these pairs that we're gonna look at later on that we're gonna be trading in the morning, all right? We have a downtrend here. And then somebody said, then up, it's not up, because the EMAs, <gasps> EMAs are bunched together. So therefore, this is going into consolidation into reset. We wanna play this. To play this, you must know BTS. <gasps> That's where BTS was invented. Because it's actually counter on a higher time frame of the daily, because this is a pullback on the daily. This is where you want to live, lady. Johnny, this is where you want to live. This is the easiest pips to catch. This is not the easiest pips to catch because it's counter. And you don't know how far, somebody's about to get the message right now. You're not going to know how far they want to go. Like, check this out to you. They can go here and stop and say, all right, we're done. We're going to keep going. <laughs> That's why we only play BTS counter. Somebody just got the message right there. You wanna know why we only place to a certain level on BTS? It's because it's counter. But we go all out with the trend. Go all out with the trend. Play conservative, counter. Now guys, what is this? Easiest way to put it is if you're confused. <laughs> Consolidation. <laughs> if you're ever confused, <laughs> Consolidation. Man, I'm confused. These EMAs are, so we got the aqua in the middle. It's on the top sometimes. This is, this, is, this is very confusing. The blue is really, really close. Confusing. Consolidation. And here's the thing, guys. They can consolidate for a long time. That's why, if you notice, we flip through and play different play, plays. Because you got to understand, it's really, it's not really, but it's harder to win in consolidation than the trend. Can you guys agree with that? With a trend, you don't have to think much because it's a trend. You trade in the same direction over and over and over and over again. Here's some dailies. What trend is this, guys? Jeez, I was going with the trash. With trash. Yeah, most people do. Most people literally go with the, the worst parts, which is the, the consolidation. I'm training you guys to play those last. The only time we ever play consolidation is in fringe play. If I call a power 50 or if you're playing BTS. And notice BTS doesn't happen that often. And when it, but when it does, it pays out big. He said long buy. It's not a long buy. This is consolidation. This is, this is no trend. This is going into reset. Blues in play. You don't know that they're going to go this high because it is counter. Counter, they don't have to. Good thing that they did. How many of you guys, be honest. We're going to have an honesty out, okay? How many of you guys were following a counter trend trade from maybe yourself, team member, and it left you? You thought it was going to go all the way here, did it? They tanked. It never came back. Raise hand. Come on. Honesty hour. I got my hand raised too. And you're just hoping. You're over here like, please. Just, just break me even, please. I mean, I don't mind losing 30 pips. Like, just please. Just please come back up. Just please. I just. <sighs> That's called counter trend trading. That's the reason why we only aim for the BTS instead of trying to go for all of this. And even in the BTS, we're not even going, for my new people, don't worry about BTS, you're gonna learn that through the course. That's why I have a whole thing for you guys. Now guys, what's the trend for this? Notice your eyes opened up. It became easier because what's the trend on this one? Notice how easy you was like, oh, that's easy. But then when you looked at this BS, you're like, oh, I mean, after the fact, you can see it went up. But this, any, any place here, you would have been like, oh, shoot. 
Yeah, overall is downturn on the daily. Now, here's one of the biggest notes I'm about to give you guys today. I can go over a little bit for you guys, right? I can go over for, for you guys, right? One of the biggest tips today, guys, reversals don't come easy. So don't ever think that, oh, my God, they're rising for so long. What goes up must come down. So I'm going to just play it down. Because reversals take a while for them to create, which we're going to actually see with USD Max and Czar and Try here soon. Reversals take sometimes weeks to form. Because you got to understand what these reversals, what they're doing, guys. Everybody close your eyes. And I want you to think, as a market maker, I want you to think, as a dealer, what would you do to trap as many traders? Would you just reverse automatically? Or would you just jam up as many people as you can over and over and over and over? And then reverse. Somebody just said, oh, wow. Wow, now I'm getting it. Oh, my God. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Yeah. Yeah. You know how many people are thinking about reversals here? It's going to reverse. When it goes down, it comes up. Oh, my God. It's going up. Left you. Oh, my God. It has to reverse now. It has to reverse now. Left you. Okay, maybe. Left you. Okay, what about now? It's a reversal. Left you. Oh, my God. Full reversal now. Left you. Wouldn't you, as a market maker, you're like, let me jam up as many people as possible before I actually reverse. Some of you guys are thinking that reverse will just come so quick. You're like, oh, my God. Uh, I have graced the market with my presence. They should reverse whenever I tell it to reverse. You want to know why people go for reversals? Reversals? Because, <laughs> check this out, guys. Counter is to BTS. BTS is the fastest T TPs. People love speed. So guess what? They go for the speed. They love speed. They love speed. And most BTSs and most counter trend trades are very, very fast. Why? Because that's called, say this with me, class, the vector. Y'all notice why we don't trade the vector side, the fast magnitude push. Because that's the counter. It's to jam you up, get you trapped up, and take your money. Somebody just caught an aha moment there. Don't worry. I'll give you a high five. Wow. So, guys, the next thing we're going to talk about is ADR. Because in the day, there is an ADR, which is called average day. How many guys are, are, are with me right now? Are you following with me, guys? My newbies, how are you feeling right now? You want to go do an easier method? You want to do it? Coach, I, I like it, but I want to go do an easier method. You'll be shooting yourself in the foot, and you will be back. Because it's time to get you guys really ready for the market, where you don't feel like you're confused. You actually master the language and the market will say this with me class become an atm for you congrats ADR stands for average daily range there is an average for each pair you play this is the average that it will go in a day so i'm sorry joni you was trying to go for seven trillion pips on eu it's not going to give you seven trillion Yo, my TP is 700 pips on EU. Good luck. Because the average daily range on EU is uh, 77 pips to 85 pips a day, which means you're going to be holding for a million years. <laughs> so everybody should say ADR, coach. <laughs> average daily range. There's also an average weekly. So good luck trying to go for 500 pips in a pair that weekly they only go 300. There's an average of how much they go. So if you understand the average, you know how much you can grab out of that pair. If the average each day it will go is 150 pips. We're going to divide that into three sections. So ADR divided by three is 50 of 150. 
We're going to eliminate the third push. That means our profits are going to be within one hundred of that ADR. This is going to give us some leeway of our TP and our profits. I need everybody in chat to say the third push is not promised. Every day they do two to three pushes. Think about it, Lois. Imagine, Lois. Let me talk to Lois real quick. Imagine if a pair went 100 from your entry, would you, let's just say we're playing for a sell, Lois. Would you be happier at the top of it or at the bottom of it? Remember, we're going for a sell. So therefore, the top of it means that in the sell, you're going to be making more pips because you're at the highest point of the day. Or would you be happier at the bottom? Newsflash. Most of the newbies always choose the bottom part. It psychologically messes you up. And newbies automatically go to it. Watch this. I'm going to hit the nail on the head right here. You've seen that pair that went 85 pips already. What's the first thing that goes into your mind, your mind Tia? Oh, my God. I could have made some pips off this. Oh, do you think I can get some more off of it? Oh, that trend is going down. I can get some more off of it. Yeah, they know. You know, everybody, everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying this, right? I told you guys this guy, Tyrone, his energy is next level. The way he teaches is next level. Um, his passion, guys, you guys can literally just hear his passion and how he speaks and how he really just tries to um, uh, let the crowd have fun with it at the end of the day. You know, so again, guys, this is literally what we do every single day. You know, we just come out here and we're teaching everybody exactly how to use this. Um, now, he's probably going to be going for around two hours, right? So obviously, uh, I'm not sure if you guys want to be on here for two hours, but uh, um, yeah, literally what do we do? You know, I know Patrick Kenny actually is literally doing a boot camp, right? Patrick Kenny, guys, the other educator you guys have not met yet. Um, he's doing a boot camp, literally started today at 8 p.m. every single day this week, guys, really breaking down, again, the ins and outs of this software guys and how to really utilize it to the best of your guys' ability, right? So definitely make sure to tune in guys, right? Make sure to tune into all of our sessions, all of our go line sessions. You know, the DeLorean is here to stay guys. We're super excited about this product. We're super excited for what's about to come for it as well. You know, I hope we, we hope that we actually can provide anybody that does plug into it um, as much value as possible. Um, but Steve, bro, I appreciate you for letting us get on. Like I said, I wish I could stay on this and just let Tyrone speak, but I mean, he'll be speaking for the next, forever right that's that's what he loves to do so um to steve i appreciate you bro you know i got your back with anything brother thank you so much guys hey do me a favor and drop drop the number 500 because my boy abel is going chairman very soon drop the number 500 for abel melendez go live educator delorean trader and uh, and guys listen super super excited for what's to come guys today you just got a little bit of the secret sauce of what the DeLorean is and, and what I loved about what happened tonight. So, you know, originally we wanted Tyrone Foster to be on here with us. Um, but you know, he, he had his, uh, call scheduled for the same exact time and, uh, or his goal live scheduled for the same exact time. So obviously he couldn't do go live and be with us. You saw, he gave us a shout out in the, uh, it, you know, in the go live. I thought that was really, really cool, but you guys got to see a couple of things tonight. One, the power of different scanners using different algorithms to find you trade setups, but also these educators, guys, I want you to understand Tyrone Foster used to charge thousands and thousands of dollars for his course. If you guys hear about people talking about all these courses, oh, I saw this course, I saw that course, that's one person's perspective on the market. Tyrone Foster, from what I've been told, would charge about $10,000 for his course. And now he's offering it on Go Live, where you can go into the favorite sessions and watch it. Now, I will tell you, it's a very in-depth training, but he gives you specific type of entries for trades, so there's no guessing. So what I'll tell you guys is go through the basics, watch Abel Melendez, and, and then hop on and start learning from Tyrone Foster. He's a great method 
uh, for trading, especially if you guys want in-depth technical stuff. Uh, he's going to get you in and out, understanding that concept. So very, very powerful, powerful stuff uh, that you guys have access to there. All right. Also, um, let me see if I can pull this guy up real quick. Because there was a person that um, Abel mentioned, and I want you guys to go through his boot camp. Uh, let's uh, let's see, share that. Let's go to uh, I am dot center here. Log in. Go to go live. Go to you go down. Let's go to DeLorean. So you would need the DeLorean guys in order to get him. And here you got Patrick Kenny. Okay. Guy is very well off, guys, very wealthy off of trading. You can go in here and then you're gonna see. Let's see, there it is. DeLorean boot camp day one. So guess what? You guys should go watch. Okay, go to DeLorean boot camp day one. And eventually you'll probably put it in his favorite sessions. Oh, look, he already has it there. So you see, guys, look, they go through all the trading of the DeLorean in the favorite sessions. Uh, and he's going to go through a boot camp all this week. Okay, so you guys can check him out. Tyrone Foster, here's the champion right here. Look, they give you the steps and easy to follow instructions. You go to their favorite sessions. And again, guys, look, entry mastery, kill zone strategy. Okay, you see like all of his special stuff that he's giving you the sauce. Guys, people charge thousands of dollars to give you this education. So listen, that's why when people say, oh, can I learn this in a month or two months? I don't know what you're talking about because this is a lifetime of education. This is getting yourself on point. Now, what I would say is focus on one strategy, master it, make some money, but understand there's always more to learn. So guys, uh, if this call has given you guys value, if you've opened your mindset on this call tonight, I want you to drop a 222 in the chats. If you guys have gotten value, if you opened your, your mind up, your belief level has gone up, if you see the power of this, all right? And guys, tomorrow night, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going to go through our trading basics call. This is for everybody new in the last 90 days. And here's what I'll tell you. You may be beyond the basics, but we usually get into stuff that's intermediate and even sometimes advanced, and you may get some nuggets in there. So if you're available tomorrow night at 9, make sure you guys are on there. Also, at 8 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning, we're going to be trading together off of the Harmonic Scanner. So make sure you guys get that link. That link will not be posted publicly. You've got to get it from a leader or from myself, and we will send you that link over to you. So guys... Wish you massive success. Hop on some go live sessions. Finish your academy if you haven't finished it. And guys, success is coming your way. If you stick and stay, you will get paid. If you are disciplined and learn, all right, you're going to earn. Many blessings to you guys. Let's take it to the next level. 2020 is still waiting for us to make it happen. Let's go.